probably uses a lot of these. <laughs> Taking any of these? You know what these are? These are aspirin. They might you might be taking Tylenol. Probably you're taking Tylenol. I just picked them picked them up. And who gives you usually Tylenol or aspirin? Your mama? Just Tylenol. But your mama gives. When when do you take when do you take pills like this? When you get sick, yeah, that's right, when you get sick. And why do you think your mama or your daddy or somebody else gives you these pills to take? You think they just... They want to help you. They want to help you. They want to help you get well. And believe it or not, Luke, they would do anything to make you get well. They would. Because guess what? You think they like you? I think they even like to do more than like you. I think that they love you. And so one of the ways in which they show their love is they do anything they can to keep you well, including giving you Tylenol. And if you got real sick, what do you think they did? Huh? No, but they do more than just give you these. They take you to the doctor. Well, in this, one of the stories I'm going to read from the Bible today, there was a man, he was a big wig in town. He, he was in charge of the synagogue, which was kind of the church. I'd say he was the administrative council chair or something like that. And he had a, a, a daughter who was sick. And he heard about Jesus, or he had heard about Jesus. And he knew that Jesus was healing people. And he knew his daughter was just about to die. And so he went after Jesus, and he found him, and he begged Jesus to come with him so that he could heal his daughter. And Jesus was coming with him. And when some people came up that were friends of his and said, don't bother the teacher anymore, they're talking about Jesus. Because your daughter has already died. It's kind of sad, isn't it? But Jesus turned to, his, to this fellow, his name was Jairus, and he said, just believe. <coughs> you know what all the people said when they got to the house? You know what they looked at Jesus and did? When Jesus said, she's not dead, she's just sleeping. They laughed at Jesus. Do you think you ought to laugh at Jesus? Yeah. No. I'm going to laugh at Jesus because yeah. Jesus so good himself. Yeah. Uh, he, and so Jesus goes in and actually the little girl comes back to life. Now, what does that say? It says that God loves us so very, very, very much. And, there, and when everything seems to be that it's impossible, guess what? God is the God of the impossible. So don't ever give up. <coughs> Always pray to God. God will help you through the darkest times. You know, if you just believe, ask Him to help you. Okay? So, I, you already did that, Luke? Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Why don't we pray together now, okay? Can you sit up and let's pray? Oh, okay. Thank you. I know, I'm glad you, I put you at ease like that. Let's pray. God, thank you that you love us. That there isn't anything you won't do for us. You show that when you came down to earth and you died for us on the cross of Calvary so that we might have life. We might be brought back to life. We were dead in sin, Lord, but you brought us back to life. I thank you for these children and for each and every person here. And I ask you, Lord, that we might know that life that you want us to live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're going to Children's Church. And